Hey, how you doing? Uh, just letting you know that I finally got the tires and the battery and the ignition piece. A new one of these. This ain't it, but that's an old one. But I got the one to fit on here, right there. And then uh, the battery, I had to put the acid stuff in it, and that took a little bit. Now I got to figure out how to charge it. You know, get a charger or find somebody that has a charger and charge it. But uh, I also realized a few other things. On the engine, the if you can see it, the muffler is not on. Right here. You know, so we're right here. And then the cooling fan has got to have, a, apparently there's a, a piece that goes right here. And then I think it's missing a piece or something. But uh, I have to really look at it, figure it out. There's supposed to be a shroud right there for the cover. And then I guess the reverse, you know, it has to have the piece on it. And I'll show you the tires in a second. But uh, they look really good. But um, I'm going to have to apparently, I'm going to, oh, I called a company that does real poster or upholstery and repair stuff like that so what i'm gonna do you know i noticed that it was right there and on the seats you know it's not too bad right on the seat right there but it's enough to get the seat changed you know if i'm gonna sell it to somebody i'm gonna have to make it look immaculate apparently but i'm gonna you know it's kind of dirty but i don't it probably looks faded and stuff so might as well just go ahead and just replace them you know and I, I found out the seats are like two, three hundred dollars. And if it's cheaper to get them repaired, then I'll do that. But if it's cheaper to just go ahead and buy them, then I'll just go ahead and buy them. You know, it shouldn't cost no more than 150 a seat. It shouldn't be. Because all they're doing is just putting new fabric on it. And it could just be basic, I don't care. Um, it ain't even got to look the same. You know, however they do it, you know, it's fine, whatever. So. But anyways, I'm, he said I could take a picture of it and send it. So I'm going to call him again and see if the pictures would help tell me a price of it. So I can go from there. I still have to get seat belts because those are messed up. And I'm going to get the five point because that's basically what's on here now. But, um, you know, I, I'm just going to get a new air filter. I was going to put the air filter back on, but I'm just going to get a new one because this piece right here right there it's broken and they got a something right here I don't know what that is but it looks like part of a shirt or something but I don't know and it looks like his spark plugs missing too so anyway yeah spark plugs missing so I'm gonna have to put that in there too this will work and I have I recently bought a project riding mower so I'm going to see if I could trade somebody to ride more to do the work on the motor. If I have to pay for parts, you know, I'll work that out with them, whatever. Or I'll give them the PS3 for the parts, you know, for buying the parts for it. And then work out the rest of it later. Or whoever it is, whoever does it. But it's going to have to have new pieces, you know, like right here. That's got to come off. You know, it just breaks off. You know, so apparently it's going to need it. Get a new one of these covers. Dirt covers, I think they call them. And then, uh, you know, I'm going to have to figure out about these because they're loose. So, okay. Oh, and the, I found out that the tires, the front tires, for each of them is going to be 15 a piece to put on. And then the one at the back, you know, this one right here, that's probably going to be not 15 but maybe five or ten just to air it up and make sure it's got air in it the other one just air it up you know i'm going to do them all at the same time and that way they're all done but um that's what i got with that so far and i still want to make the painting the last part but what i need to do is tear it down and completely can rebuild it when i get done because i'm gonna have to you know i still have to get the rack for it because of the the pieces broke off unless I could get somebody to weld it back on but if my face looks different I just took one of my teeth out if I sound different but uh let me 
come in here for a second I'll show you what I got uh, sorry about it being so dark walking through the hallway and it's dark in here and of course I got the light on my face again I had it outside but it was bright out so I don't understand why the light was on but I have this I gotta do this with one hand hold on a second Okay, this was, it was supposed to have a an adapter piece, but apparently they put this on it, and that's actually what's supposed to be on there. And then, let me set this right here. Let's see if this will work. Step out the way. Let's see if this will work. I don't know if you can see me or not, but it would be like this. See, this right here goes like that, and it turns as to the turn it on and then you start it and it springs back so that's a good thing so that's really cool but uh got that let me put it back in here so I don't get lost so I don't get messed up too go I don't know why we got flies in there anyways but here's the battery. I just put the stuff in it. So it's a nice little battery. Yeah. It's a nice little one. Yeah, twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. And I got the stickers. I ain't gonna put those put the stickers on until I get uh I don't know if you can see my face or not, but you know when I get the, the I'm not gonna put the stickers on until I get the car painted. Which would be kind of dumb to put them on right now. And what I'll do is I'll put them on the inside of it. And there's I got two more long ones right here. Then I'm gonna put them on the sides, on the out, you know, on the outside so people can see it. And uh, I got those. I'm gonna give them a little plug, which they're actually pretty good. It's uh, GoPowerSports.com performance parts. And the battery, any battery you buy is. On sale, I don't know if they still have it or not, but it was on sale for 20 bucks a battery. And I got the one that goes to mine. And, uh, I had to put, and I had to be, actually you didn't need gloves to do this. And I didn't get them. But here's the, you know, the acid thing. It has acid in it. Like a, I think it was a, what kind of acid? So pretty oak acid. You know, this type of stuff. But all you do is just take the little red thing they had on here, take that off, and then you don't put any holes or anything in this. You just take it and you set it on top of the battery and push it down in and it pops open. As, as you can see, you can see the holes. You know, right here. If you can see them, they got holes in them. Where I was. And you have to sit there and mess with it because sometimes they don't come out like they're supposed to and they're supposed to have bubbles coming through but some of them took a little longer than those but I finally got it and I put it in a double bag that the uh, battery was in I went ahead and put the put double bag it so that way it wouldn't get anywhere and in case it got out or something you know a little bit left in it but I got it no biggie but it's a YTX9-BS bullshit but I had to put the things on there I got them ready and I have to charge the battery so I gotta find somewhere to charge it or how to charge it I did have a trickle charger but it was only a I found out that it was only a maintainer so I had to sell it because I didn't need it but let me show you the tires these are really nice big one bigger than I thought they were uh, Let's see. I'll take one out and show it to you. But see, this is how it looks. It's got the V tread. V tread. And uh, it's a 9 by 7 by 8, which is what I need. I hope it's right. Looks like it. But those would be going on the front. And back have about the same amount of tread, maybe a little less. You know, but they look about the same. So that would be good. 
you know, all the tires would be fine. But the front, I had to have no questions about it. I could, I could bypass that. And I had to have those. But that's that. So that's what I've gotten so far. And uh, sorry about the glasses. Uh, all I got to do, there's a guy that lives across the street that I bought the uh, mower from. He, uh, he, I'm going to see if he's got a charger that I can use to charge my battery. Or have him hook it up for me and charge the battery up. And uh, that way I can be able to see what's going on with it. And first I'm going to have to get a spark plug. I'm going to have to find out where to get the spark plug from. But if I can find somebody to work on the motor to where I don't have to worry about it. Because I don't know about the wiring and stuff too much. You know, I do know that if it's got compression I can get it running. But the wiring part, to me, I would get all new wiring, new pieces, which is what I'm thinking about doing. Just go ahead and get new pieces for it. And that way I ain't got to worry about it and buy a spark plug too. And see how much everything costs. And uh, go from there. So I'm either going to do it myself or have somebody do it and trade them, you know, some stuff. But, you know, I've got that right there. And we've got 23 plus games with the PS3. So if anybody watching this, you know, you know how to work on small engine and stuff. I got a riding lawnmower, it's a project, riding lawnmower, and a PS3. I'll trade for the working parts if you do it. If not, don't worry about it. That way I can go ahead and get it running. And I really don't want to trade the PS3, but if I have to, I will. But first it would be... The lawn. If you can get the motor running, you know, like it is now, and, you know, have it running. Because I got, you know, the ignition part, so you don't have to worry about that. And trying to start it from the starter. But, uh, it's got to have, it's got to have the muffler put on, so I have to get the bolts for that. Um, or either find, get another muffler if it's not expensive. But this is not going to be, I found out that this is not going to be a, one day project so to speak it's going to be a, a while before i can sell it because i got to get it running and everything else if i had the money it wouldn't even be a month before i had it running but not having the money you know it's going to be hard i'm going to have to get piece by piece and stuff little by little but i'll still make videos and stuff and the next one would be hopefully the wheels on stuff like that so it might be a little bit before I get another video. Um, but that's what I have so far. So later.